to hello friends welcome to my channel if you're new you're very welcome my name is Annie Safon and today I'm going to show you how to make a bishop sleeve or a balloon sleeve okay so um take your basic pattern go ahead and trace it out I really went ahead and trace mine out and uh, as you can see this is my center line and here is from here to here is my sleeve cap uh, line okay and here simply mean the back the B for the back and the F is for the front okay so the next thing we're going to do right now is uh, we are going to come here like this okay so we're going to come here ish and we're going to just make sure we mark about two inch from here and we're going to measure whatever we have here this is three inch so we're going to divide it by two which is going to give me one and a half here and as well we're going to do the same thing from the center line we're going to mark one and a half here and here we're going to mark two inch okay two inch here is two inch this is what we have right now so we're going to connect this line straight upward okay you can see remember i said from this center line you're going to mark one and a half inch and from here to here you're going to mark um, two inch okay do the same thing with the other side this is what we're going to do place it like this see like so and make sure we draw a straight line from where we uh, mark here to the top part we're going to do the same thing here, making sure it is straight, like so, like this, like so, and we come here and do the same thing as well. We make sure the lines are straight. We place it like this. We make sure we take it, take the line up with a straight line just like this and the next one we're going to do the same thing as well from here making sure everything is quite really straight like so and like so we have the lines at the center as you can see the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it like this to the top part okay And when you leave this top part, make sure you leave a little bit of space. Don't cut it all. We'll continue doing the same thing with the other. While leaving a small space here at this top line. Okay, as so you can see what I'm leaving. Continue doing the same thing. we get here to the top part we need to little bit so i'm going to continue doing the same thing till i get to the end so once we are done cutting it all this is what we have we have one two three four five six okay so now we're going to move this aside simply move this aside just like this we'll be needing another paper right uh, another paper. so as so you can see here is the paper i just put right now and you make sure your uh the other pattern is wide enough so first thing we're going to do is we're just simply going to come here we can just go ahead first thing let's draw a center line let's see drawing a center line here which is going to help us it's going to serve as our guideline okay all right now we have one center line let's move this aside we're going to place the center right this is going to serve us as our guideline so you can see here is my center line right from the center line, we're going to start working from the center line. So you can see, we're going to make sure from this center line, I mark two inch here and two inch here, like this. So you can see here. All right. And from here to here, we're going to see mark uh, four inch as well. Four inch. And this last one, what we're going to do is we're going to mark just from here is four inch. We're going to mark just three inch or three and a half inch. The last one is always smaller. Three and a half inch. Okay. Like so. We'll continue doing the same thing here. Remember? Four inch here. Four inch. I'm going to bring this together like this. And three and a half inch here. All right. 
now that we have this mark up the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to you can uh we're going to pin it so that by the time we are tracing this out it will not move okay so i'm just going to put some pins here to pin that up put a pin here Here, yeah, like this. All right. Since we are done putting in uh, our pins, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to trace it like this, from here to here, like so. Right? The shape. The first thing I'm going to mark here, like this. Here. And here, here the same thing, mark, here, like this, and here, like this. And I'm going to start tracing it from here, like so. You make sure everything is intact. Like this. Make sure you trace your fabric, take your time and do it straight. Alright, now that we got here, I'm just going to take my ruler and I'll place like so. From here to here, I'll draw a straight line. A straight line from there to there. And as well, I'm going to do the same thing here with a straight line. Now that we are done drawing the straight line, the next thing we're going to do is simply we're going to place this like this. You could use this or you could use your pan curve ruler. Pan curve ruler, you're just gonna place like so. You make sure you just follow the like so. Alright? I'm gonna continue marking it. Right, like this. Let me shift the paper this way. All right, like so. All right. I'm gonna place like this as well. Continue cutting. And here, do the same thing. Place it like so. So once mm -hmm. once we're done doing this, the next thing we're going to do is simply we're going to add one inch of allowance because we'll be needing one inch of allowance to sew this. Okay, so we're going to add one inch here like this, or half an inch. So, right, and here as well. Come here like this. And you're going to add. One inch, one inch here. I'm gonna mark it up. One inch here. One inch here. One inch. Like so. One inch here. Like this. One inch. And uh, one inch here. One inch here. One inch here, one inch here. So this is my allowance. But if you already make your sleeve, including your allowance, with a sewing allowance, there's no need for you to add it when you slash this and spray it, okay? But well, I'm adding this because I did not add my allowance. So here, All right? So I'm just going to connect the line straight like this. Listen like so. Making sure everything matches up from here to here, like so. From here to here, like so. And from here to here, like this, okay? So once we're done, we're going to bring this right here. And you need to add again one inch here at the top part, okay? 
So as you can see, I went ahead and added one in here and I connected this line. We are left with this line to connect it and we are done with the slashing and spraying of the seed. Now that we are done, uh, as you can see, marking it, we are simply going to cut the sleeve. Now, now you can go ahead and move your pins. We are done with our sleeve, don't slash in the To keep this maybe you will you'll be needing it in the future for your own what so this is the white sleeve this is the balloon balloon sleeve bishop sleeve you call it white sleeve or balloon sleeve all right and now i'm going to put a for the front and b for the back okay this is what we have and now we need to move this aside because the help on it I see there's so many ways of making this sleeve is either you could just go ahead and cut it like a flyer or you slash it and spray, okay? You can see this is what it looks like. Very wide and nice. I love it. Right? And now the last thing we need to do, we just need to grab the rest of the paper that we have and quick the band that we'll be going for for the wrist here. At this down up hand. So um, you're going to measure how wide you want your band to be. Uh, my, I want it to be just four inch, okay? Four inch. Therefore, if I fold, it's going to give me, um, it's going to give me two inch, okay? So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to just mark from here to here my two inch, like so first. And now I will go ahead and measure the wrist, my wrist, which is here. You don't want it to be too tight, okay? Alright, so this is seven. My wrist is seven, so I'm going to put it like so. Okay, it is good. I will go ahead and add half inch. This is really good. Okay, uh, here is four. Uh, here is eight and a half. So I'm going to come here and measure from the line which I mark. I measure four and quarter. From here, from here, four and quarter. Draw my straight line just like so. 
from here to here like this measure my two inch here and here i'm going to measure the two inch here connect that with the straight line just to be sure like so let's see from here to here like this from here to here like this this is one quarter so we're going to cut it cutting it like this oh sorry cut it like so as well like so like this okay when you're cutting this you make sure you cut it like this on fold here you cut it fold here okay so that you will give me the eight and a half inch all right back to this so i'm going to put these two together and see if you can see here we have uh, this small edge that is actually coming out so i need to trim it for it to be the same trim everything for it to be the same okay i'm just going to trim this small excess here for them to be same Yeah, that's our pattern. Here I have my sleeve band. So and here I have my sleeve as you can see. I hope that you guys love it. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And I'll be showing this on this channel as well. Okay, so see you in my next project. Bye.